Good morning. For those of you who don't listen on WJGQ, I thought I would share some thoughts from my messages today and tomorrow. In my morning word of encouragement on the radio, I'm talking about patience. I often joke with people um, that I, I'm praying that you have as much patience as your pastor. People, people often roll their eyes because, you know, they know that uh, maybe I'm not always the most patient person. But I think I've grown in my virtue of patience, at least a little. In my phone calls to people, I'm hearing a growing sense of impatience. I'm reminded of the prayer for patience. Lord, give me patience, but give it to me now. So I, I thought it would be good to spend some time talking about the virtue of patience. Patience is really both a command from God and it's also a gift from God. Whatever God commands, he also gives to us. This virus has taught us again that God, that we are not in control. God is in control. Patience comes from the affirmation that our God is in control and that he's carrying out a good plan for us. That's important to remember. Patience comes from the affirmation that God is in control and that he is working out a good plan for us. With this confidence, we listen to James 5. You be patient too. Strengthen your hearts because the coming of the Lord is near. Strengthen your hearts. What strengthens us? God is in control. That's what strengthens us. Two weeks from today, the governor's order will end. But that doesn't mean that everything will go back to normal right away. Patience. Let's pray for patience. Not my patience, certainly, but the patience that comes from knowing God is in control. Knowing that God is in control is especially what we need when we go through a change in life. In our Acts reading today, we will see changes in the church. Wherever change happens in our lives, we want to follow the example of the apostles. They always went back to the Lord. Remember I said that that patience is the affirmation that God is in control. And, And so the more I think about my own impatience, the more it convicts me and realizes, and I realize that that sometimes my impatience comes from the fact that I want to be in control. I'm not. Neither are you. And that's a good thing, isn't it? Sometimes we want to be in control, but it's a good thing we're not in control. God is in control because he sees the bigger picture. And that is why we need to continue to go back to the Lord. And so we do that today. We go back to the Lord in our reading from the book of Acts. Brothers and sisters, God's blessings on your reading, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great day in the Lord, being patient in the Lord.